Today I want to talk to you guys about activating the new FPV drone from DJI. Now over the last couple of days people have been getting their new models and I've seen a lot of posts today especially about activation problems and people struggling to get this up and running and I am seeing a few common issues that I want to talk to you guys about today. Now I just want to be clear there are two distinct things you need to be aware of here. We have people who are struggling to activate the DJI FPV drone kit which consists of the goggles version 2 the drone and the remote and then you've got people who are struggling to activate their version 2 goggles because DJI have done something dull with the firmware. Now that is a completely separate issue and I will talk about that in this video but I will do that at the end. So if you're a goggles version 2 owner and you're just trying to activate it and you don't own the drone you want to jump to that section. The first bit though we're going to talk about is activating the FPV drone itself as part of of the whole kit. Now I'm seeing a number of people post various issues. They can't get it to activate, they can't get it to connect to their device or the app or assistant too. Right, just to be clear up front, you do not activate the FPV drone via assistant for FPV. It can only be activated via the DJI Fly app. However, there is some confusion here as well. If you are an iOS user, you are fine. You can download the latest Fly app from the Apple App Store and that will work. However, if you are an Android user, the version of the app on the Google Play Store is out of date. You must download version 1.3 onwards from the DJI website directly. Now whilst this may change in the future, here and now DJI do not have the latest version of the Fly app on the Google Play Store. So if you are downloading it from Google Play, it will not work, it will not activate. You need to go to the DJI website, I will put a link to that in the comments in the description of this video, and download that app onto your device. Now if you've already got Fly installed, uninstall that first, delete it, reboot your phone, then download the version of the Fly app directly from DJI. Now, there are some other things you also need to make sure that you are doing when activating this. The activation process is done by connecting your smart device to the goggles version 2. You need to do this with the supplied OTG cable that DJI have given you in the box. Do not just use a USB-C to USB-B or USB-C to USB-C depending on what your smart device is. It must use this OTG cable. You plug that into the USB port on the side of your goggles and you then need to use your device's data cable for connecting from that to your smart device. Now I am an Apple user so I'm using Lightning so I would simply plug that cable into the OTG connection and then that actually into my phone and then that's it ready to go. You then open the DJI Fly app and once the goggles are powered up you will see in the bottom right hand corner an icon appear showing the connection between the goggles and the smart device. You should be getting this when you have a connection between the two devices. Now if you're an Android user do not use the USB-C cable that DJI supply in the box, I believe it's charging only and it's not charging and data. You need to make sure that this cable will allow charge and data to transfer. Use your own cable. If you're having trouble, try a different cable and try it again. Now that is one of the more common issues that people are coming up against. They're either using the wrong cable or they're using a direct cable and not using this OTG adapter. Now when you first turn the FPV drone on it will tell you that it needs activating. That is the first thing to do. Turn the drone on, the remote on, as well as the goggles. Connect your goggles to your smart device via the OTG cable and your own cable, making sure that it is data. And then make sure that you have the latest DJI Fly app installed on your smart device. And you should then be able to activate without problems. There is no official issues here and now acting 
uh, activating, I should say, the DJI FPV drone. You might be reading issues of people struggling to activate these goggles, but that is all related to people trying to activate them for FPV who do not own this drone. If you own the drone, you should be able to activate via the Fly app as long as you've got the correct one and it is connected correctly without any problems. Now, moving over to the FPV goggles version 2. Now, this bit is only relevant if you are trying to activate the FPV goggles version 2 to use with the standalone ear units, i.e. the Cadex Vista and the DJI FPV ear unit. Now, whilst you might get your new version 2 goggles and it asks you to connect to the app or DJI Fly, you cannot activate them that way because there's no way to activate the goggles in the FPV mode without actually owning the FPV drone. You also cannot activate it via Assistant 2 because it is in FPV mode and you're not allowed to activate the goggles in Assistant 2 when it's in FPV mode. This is where all of the problems have come from. You can only activate the FPV goggles with the drone with the fly app and you can only activate the fpv goggles on their own with assistant 2 but the current firmware that they're shipping with isn't letting you switch between those modes so if you receive them in fpv drone mode unless you own the drone you can't activate them however there is finally a workaround and this has been actually shared on facebook and many other places and it was shared by it's blunty so we want to give a massive massive thank you to that gentlemen hopefully it, the chances are i don't mean hopefully it came from dji because basically it had to have come from dji looking at it one of their reps or one of their support members but the process to actually activate your v2 goggles is as follows you need to download the latest version of assistant 2 on your pc and that is assistant 2 for fpv make sure it is the right one you then need to log into it with a special dji account not your own account but the one listed in this which i will put up on the screen for you now you log in with the provided email address and password you then need to go into the settings in assistant 2 and enable the first two options which is DJI account information and DJI device information. It is very important these are turned on before moving to the next step. That will then give you access to downgrade the firmware on the goggles and it will allow you to actually roll it back to an earlier version which is version 00.05.1086. This Firmware, once downgraded, will allow you to change the FPV mode of the goggles. They will allow you to go into the settings, down to the about, and switch to DJI FPV Digital System. This will then mean you can activate them via Assistant 2. Once you've done that, you should then get the activation notification and then you would be able to update the goggles to the latest firmware again and use them with your standalone FPV system. Now, this is a workaround that, as I've already said, must have been shared by DJI, but it will get you up and running if you have a set of FPV goggles version 2 without the drone that you can't activate. Now, frankly, this whole situation is a bloody mess. We have users with the FPV drone who can only activate via the app and they're having trouble. We've got users with the FPV goggles version 2 who can only activate via Assistant 2, but it's asking them to activate via the app. And it's just a bloody mess, unfortunately. However, there is now a solution and you should be able to get yourself up and running massive thank you to it's bluntly for sharing this with the community it's been widely spread across facebook and all of those places i'll put a link to it in the description of this video i'll put the process in the description and the comment section of this video as well now that's it for this one if you have still got issues please put them in the comments and I will try and help you if I can. Remember on the FPV drone, the most important thing is making sure that you've got the latest Fly app on Android especially. You have to go directly to DJI. Make sure you're using a proper data cable and you are using that OTG adapter and then just follow that process for the V2s when using it for the standalone. Now, if you found this info useful, please do consider hitting the subscribe button. And as I've said, if you are having problems, put them in the comments and I'll try and help you where I can.